Hello again. You are very welcome to this series of uh, the studies of lucidity of the Shishan culture. As you know, we are working in this uh, sub-series the day-by-day -day experiences and applications of these uh, interesting studies. Today I want to talk to you about the three terms. Um, I was I was talking to my master like uh, I think it was like two or three weeks ago and uh, and Chiyos Jordan was giving me some advice on a situation that I was going through really painful, really uncomfortable, unpleasant and uh, about which I couldn't see the benefits of, of of me passing through it. My master Shidoshi Jordan told me about about ancient times, my father, my, my, my grandfather times when people used to have a lifetime plan, a culture of, of humility, effort, dedication and respect for each other. And, and he was telling me that today today we are living in, in in the in the power of the of the now of the right now, and in the times of individuality, and this has um, really complex consequences to our lives. They say that a strategy. One definition of a strategy says that strategy is to apply the right proportion of action on the right moment, and um, maybe. In that, in, in in these days, in these days of the power of the now, we are missing the point of of real intelligence and real wisdom. You must understand, as I, I as I did with my master words, that our actions, our attitudes, our abilities, and all the things we decide to do or not to do have consequences in short term, medium term and long term. It's, it's probably quite often that we focus on, on short term. There, there are two strategies that we normally follow uh, related to our emotions and related to our thoughts. One of them is to avoid run away and suppress emotions or thoughts. Normally the, the ones that, that do that tend to avoid the painful emotion or thought, the unpleasant situation. But as with any other illness, with any other problem, if you try to avoid this, if you look other way, uh, it just uh, goes stronger and bigger and normally uh, it doesn't solve it is there when you look back it's like this problem on your teeth when you are you start eating because it aches and you start eating with all the part of your mouth and it, and it, and it grows and, and you go to the dentist and then it's uh, a big mess. Um, normally this strategy erosionates uh, other areas of your life and uh, the problem gets so big that it's a complete disaster, complete emotional disaster. The other strategy you normally do is to to focus short term in, uh, in relation to our emotions and in relation to our thoughts. We prefer normally to do things now bef uh, instead of doing them right. Normally the temptation of doing them right now to satisfy or suppress the unpleasant situation right now, it's a more interesting and tempting uh, thing to do, but it's not possibly the, the most uh, intelligent thing to do because avoiding unpleasant emotions right now solves the problem right now but multiplies it on the long term so think, take, in, take into account 
just please see beyond, see longer, and take into account that your past uh, comes with you. Because the, the person you are today is the outcome of the, of the past you did before. You don't have to be focused on your past, but you have to have this into, in, in your consideration when, when taking decisions right now. So, all your personal history is made up out of your decisions, so take them on a long-term basis. Look a little farther and see how those little decisions you took on your college years maybe come today to you as resume problems. You don't have these skills you need now. Maybe you are not entering the company you, 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 you desire just because you lack um, this little skill that maybe you had the opportunity, that language that you dropped and, um, and just because you didn't have a long-term strategic vision. So I'm going to propose you for this week uh, one exercise in two versions of it. First of all, I recommend you to reflect on every little thing you do from now on and to, uh, to next week, to every little decision, every little action, every little emotion, every situation, and reflect on the emotions and thoughts that this situation is arousing in you. Just look at them with a reflecting uh, uh, vision and see how they can affect your short term, your mid term and your long term and see if you are taking your decisions based on a short term basis and uh, practice to go beyond. And the second version of this exercise I'm gonna tell you to to do it the other way around. Just, um, just have a look at the good things in your life and at the bad things in your life and try to look for the seed for, for these decisions you took years ago try to remember the frame of mind that you had in that moment and consider if you were a wise person when taking that decision when performing that action and, uh, and uh, and just um, learn from it and, uh, and have consciousness from it. It's probably one of the most interesting things one can do um, for one's life. So thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Uh, big hug.